one get good chat write this down greetings and welcome back to the bitter taste of relationship reality on cheaters our first case concerns shaylise o'brien a medical assistant why she appear like that of her boyfriend shaylise approaches cheaters for her own badly needed she 26 interesting i've been dating rod for about a year lucky um, you we met at a church event um i was a there church with going my family girl. and saw him with his family okay kind of talked for a little bit he kind of hit on me um we've been talking for a while for about a year now we live kind of far from each other he's in dallas i'm in fort worth but um he go see me every once in a while and i'll go see him every once in a while kind of just drive back and forth what attracted me to rod was his personality i'd mm -hmm. say he we joke all the time. I love a guy that makes me laugh, and he can make me laugh a lot. But, okay, that's awesome. Um, he's just very sweet. I mean, he complimented me all the time, made me feel special. Um, I mean, he's somebody I could see myself in the future with. Rod. She was trying to marry Rod. A lumber handler suspected of putting his wood into someone else's kiln car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Suspected of putting his wood into someone else's kiln car. Briefed by Shalise on the suspect's routine, Cheaters begins the investigation at the suspect's residence. Sometime later, detective spy suspect Rod as he leaves his abode. A cheater's mobile team follows the young lumber handler through town. I'ma be honest, I don't like his voice. The way that it sounds is very stupid. Rod greets the woman with a familiar hug. Look at the this. The suspect and his companion step to the building. Look at this. Distance has never been an issue before. Um, here lately, I have noticed a difference. Um, he kind of avoids me wanting to come over as much. Makes sense. Um, him coming over to my place it makes and sense. I, I just i can sense that there's something not normal about our relationship now mm -hmm. um he kind of avoids talking to me about a lot of things it's After obvious he time, don't want you no more why can't she notice that he don't he just not interested no more they converse by the vehicles laughing and chatting at some point the questionable couple decide to say goodbye the mysterious woman hugs the suspect. Why is she hugging she the suspect? To her vehicle. Rod climbs into his car. They both leave, ending this day of surveillance. You lose sleep over when you're constantly thinking about somebody all day, wondering what they're doing. You can't focus. You can't concentrate. There's nothing that man can tell. That me. sounds like some chat would do. He's cheating on me. Y'all be losing sleep over your significant other. That's something y'all would do, but Reese be cozy like a babe are you dumb answers Reese be there, I mean, cozy no and why he's been wasting my time all this time and you lose hair Jesus shut up continues to stake out the suspect's residence don't do that sometime later the suspect leaves home why unaware they of the stalking inspectors you? on his tail rod drives through town to a local mexican fast food restaurant what after parking he meets the woman seen previously now identified only as misty they greet each other. How y'all know that? Rod escorts his companion into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. A short while later, the suspect brings his date the meal. Oh. Sometime later, with their repast finished, the illicit couple ambles back to their respective vehicles. Why you say such big At words? At the suspect's car, Ooh. they embrace and provide insight to cheaters on what the suspect does when not around Shaylee's. After smooching a bit, Misty walks to her ride. Rod gets into his own car. The two part ways and end the night surveillance. Continuing the scrutiny of the suspect's home, cheaters gun. Chat, the only thing y'all keep talking about, every time I look at the chat, all I see is, whoa, she got a fat butt. Is that all y'all care about? Huh? Does nothing else matter? Is that why he, he cheating on this church going girl? Just so he can get a girl with a big butt? Is that what he's here for? He's supposed to be a church going man. He met her at church with his family. Now he out here gallivanting around with this freaky girl or something. I don't know. The whole chat talking about yes. I shoes stick to the stakeout. After some time, Rod makes his appearance. The suspect leaves home. Cheaters follows. The suspect drives to a strip mall shopping <laughs> center. Chat, that's all we see. Rod meets up with the not so mysterious Misty. Look at Misty. He greets her with a salacious hug. The suspect escorts his paramour into a store. They going on a lot of dates. 
Damn! Some time later, the troubling twosome exits the store. Rod walks Misty to his car. Investigators expect the couple to drive away and are surprised when the pair clambers into the back seat of wow. the vehicle. Footage shot by cheaters presents a steamy picture of the antics of the suspect and his libertine lady. What are they doing? With their business finished, Misty debarks the car. Wait a minute, time out. Don't tell me they did the nasty without tinting the windows in an open parking lot. What kind of what? I need a car. <laughs> Cheaters immediately. Please, you know what they did. I don't know anything. Shut up. Don't tell me what I know. Now that Shaylise's deep seated anxieties have borne fruit, Cheaters contacts the apprehensive young lady. Fearful. I don't want to watch this part of it. This boy trying to act like he all sophisticated and trying to use these words to persuade us to believe he's cheating in such a bad manner. Shut up, bro. Just bring her out and tell her the guy doing what he need to be so doing. The first thing I'd like to say is, you know, thank you for being here today. As you know, we have come up with some pretty interesting findings. Are you prepared to see what's been going on with Rod and the reason why you're here? I'm ready. She's a lovely woman, and he chat talking about her butt not big, so I want to cheat on her. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all just as bad as Rod. Chalice, we begin our investigation outside of Rod's home. Recognize the house? The vehicle? Do. Yes. We see him come out, white t-shirt, brown pants, gets into his vehicle, and he drives away. As our detectives follow Rod, that's when we see him arrive at a gas station. Look at this. the vehicle next to that silver SUV. So we see Rod get out, and we see this female emerge out of the SUV. They exchange a hug. Look at them. Stop it right there. Have you ever seen her before? No, I Never. haven't. Don't recognize the car or the woman? No. Okay, they walk into the gas station Bro. together. And after a while, they come outside with some drinks. We see them conversing by their vehicles, being very playful. You don't recognize her face? Mm -mm. Never seen her in your life? No. We see her putting her arms around Rod. Look at that. Being very flirtatious. And moments later, she gets in her vehicle and she drives away. Rob then does the same, and he returns home for the evening. I can't believe that, bro. On this day of our investigation, Shalise, we are outside of Rod's home. He emerges, white t-shirt, pants, gets into his blue vehicle. Is he not supposed to wear a white t-shirt and pants? Why are you describing that? restaurant, parks his vehicle, and he meets that same female in the previous. Look at this, man. They walk into the restaurant together. And they share a meal. When they're sitting in this restaurant and they're eating together, he actually receives a phone call, and that phone call's from you. What you're about to hear is audio from that phone call. Tell me if you remember this conversation. How do y'all even get that audio? Where are you at? I've called you like three times. You didn't? I don't know. 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 After finishing up that phone call with you, I see he's very nervous, and as you told me, he's being very, very quick to get off the phone with you, so we both know that he's, he's doing something wrong. After that phone call with you, they finish up in the restaurant. Oh! Multiple kisses. Continuing on our investigation, our detectives are outside of Rod's home. We see Rod emerge, he gets into the vehicle, and he drives away. As our detectives follow Rod, he arrives at a shopping center. He parks next to that silver SUV and is greeted by that same female. Look at this. They hug, and they walk into a store. He opens the door for her, and a short time later, they emerge holding some items in a bag. We see them get into the back of the vehicle, Shaylee's, and that's when we see them exchange and I would say a lot more than a kiss. No. Go up on the actual windows. They're having sex. No. In the car in the parking lot in the broad daylight no tin on the window. Jesus, bro. Y'all tweaking. No way y'all acting like this. This is how chat be acting. She low key fine. Stop looking at her now. She already been cheated on. Y'all was joining Rod's side. Y'all was taking Rod's side. Oh, she got a fat butt. Stop taking people's side. Now all of a sudden, you know what? She do look good. Shut up. Like y'all care. Hmm. What I mean, what goes through your mind when you see this? 
A man of I faith? Even, I don't even know what to say. A man of faith? He met her at church. He out here carrying on like a heathen. <laughs> this man. Jack, that's what y'all fail to understand. The devil used to be an angel. You got to watch even the people you meet at church. This is why Reese don't go. I don't know who them people is up, up, up in there. How am I supposed to trust anybody? Even the pastor. Even the preacher. He could be... Yeah, are you dumb? Hey, like, yeah, a man of faith is it's just a lie. It's, he's not a liar. Look at her, man. I'm ready. She needs a real lovely, wholesome Christian guy. <laughs> that ain't me, but listen, she needs to find somebody else. Listen, I'm sorry that this happened, okay? I'm listen, I'm really, really, really sorry, all right? Mm -hmm. But I promise you, I swear to you that we will not stop until we get you the truth. And ultimately, a resolution to this, all right? Okay. I know this is hard, okay? But I promise you after Look this, you'll feel so much better. I'm going to call Detective Gomez when we get on the road. We know where they're at. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go confront them? I'm ready. Look at her. Right, right you can there. tell she upset by how big her forehead is and the well, vein popping out here. At a grocery store together inside. No, now they're going grocery right, shopping. We'll under the Dunkinville sign. And we will wait for your confirmation, but I will see you there. Thanks, Gomez. All right. They ordered a big okay, car so for just two people. They are actually inside of a grocery store together, grocery shopping. What we're going to do is, is we're going to park, we're going to stage right outside in the parking lot, wait for our detective, and we are going to confront them as they come out. Okay, they're in the checkout line. Let's go ahead and pull up to the exit. There's going to be a separate one. Uh, Entrance is on the left, exit's on the right. Are you ready? Right. They pulled up in the Sprinter there van to get her. Oh, no, there's a lot of people up in there. Look at that. That's why they rented the Sprinter. That shopping cart empty. Oh. So this is what you're doing when you're talking. No, no, no. This is what you're doing when you're talking to me on there? Rock, I'm talking for a minute. What is this? What is this? She robbing them. She's robbing them. Now you can't talk to her, bro. Hold on. What is this? Yeah, no. show the reason why we're here is because yeah, you were obviously we're caught cheating on her with him. Can I talk to you for a minute? Can I talk to you for a minute? What's your name? Yeah. Hi, I'm Clark Gable with the show here. So the only reason why I'm here is because this gentleman, Rod's actually been with this, uh, this woman for about a year and a half. Were you aware of that? No, I wasn't aware of that. You have no idea? Hey. No idea? Coming up. Coming up. Well, let's get to it. They picking up milk? No! Why you throw the milk? I'd be mad. I, I like milk. I ain't gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm supposed to eat my crackers, my, my cookies. I'm supposed to eat my graham crackers, my cereal. I, I, I literally Uber eats milk. That's, a, that's an important feature. Yeah. Look at the man with the mic. <laughs> he just all up in their face. Went to boom mic. Boom, go somewhere, bro. The audio ain't that important. Look at this man. Not the eggs, please. How am I supposed to make scrambled eggs? Rod, what happened, man? Who is you? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Rod, how come you're buying I'm baby food? I'm asking you questions. Which one? They, they really ain't none of your business. Who are you? Who is this? Is this his can we I'm talk talking to him? No, can we can talk right now. We can talk right now. No, 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 no. What you no. take your shoes off? No. No, why she no, taking her shoes right off? No, 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 who is this? No, 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 why did she take her shoes off? Come over here. Let's tell the truth. Can you tell me exactly how you guys I met? I want answers right now. <laughs> you met at a party? Did he tell you uh did he tell you that he was with this other girl? He said he was single. He said he was Lucky single. Lucky him. Really? Does she know about me? Does she know how long we've been together? He didn't say anything. Does she know how long we've been together? How long we've been talking? Did you tell her all that? I've been talking. We're talking about a year, honey. Is this is this you guys in the car? No. Having sex? Way. No way. He got the he got the tape on a tablet like she Kim Kardashian or something. How you just gonna pull up that car tape right right in the middle of the parking lot? This is you, huh? Is anybody here? Do you recognize the people in the video? Like why you just walking around with it on HD display, just showing people in the parking? Is this you having sex? Huh?
<laughs> he's just about to start showing it to everybody. <laughs> the whole parking lot gonna get to see it. He's talking about, is this you, huh? Was this you? <laughs> this man. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> Listen to the people. Y'all are crazy. Look at this. I don't know if that's in. I think he could go to court for that. Like, I don't know if this is appropriate. I think they could go to court for showing that. You got the evidence right here. I mean, all you got to do is just tell the truth, man. I just want answers. I want and I'm done. Y'all met at a church, at a family church gathering together a year and a half ago. I mean, I really didn't lie just and tell the whole truth. Why did you do that, man? It's a big distance, bro. We got a big distance in our relationship. There's not really much distance right now, so why don't you tell her what's going on? Put it this way. What if I walked out here with you and you caught her with another man? What would you do? Would you be pissed? You'd be wanting to fight him. Exactly. I'm a whole different type of dude. We can see that. We can see that. Like this joke. Oh, you right. You're right. It's not. It's not. The only joke is you two. The only joke is you two. Right now. Do you have anything to say at all, man? Do you feel any remorse? I am sorry. I you apologize are sorry. that you had to find you out. Are. You, you are. are. You are. You are sorry. The girl he with ain't leaving, so she's still gonna continue to see him. So I. I don't know. You right. You are sorry. You got that right. You know, I'm sorry. One answer right. You just what do you think about right. this? How, how do you know he's not going to do this to you? How do you know he's not going to do this to you? I still haven't got no answers. Were you tell her about your baby? No. Rod, you got a three-month-old child with this girl? That's what that baby food was for? Did you tell her that? No, he got her pregnant. Did you tell her that? Did they not Bro. No way. No. No way. He got a kid. You got what you wanted? I got what I wanted. Let's go. Load up. What about what I wanna do? What? He talking about what about what I wanted? A three month old. Wow. Oh, she mugged him in his big ass head. Um, we are actually waiting on the driver. That's a shame, chat. That's a shame, chat. Man, Reese. You missing the Nets and the Knicks. I'm waiting for the Warrior Suns, to be honest. Shut up. I just want to make sure, Shaylise, that we provided as much as we could. I apologize. The police showed up. I mean, I know that cut things short. I mean, I got the answers I needed. Yeah. That's what I needed. He had a kid. That got me closure. I just know I'm done. What's next for you and your future? I'm just moving on. What's next for her and her future? He wasn't even a part of her current life. That was just a long distance relationship. She loved him. All right. Now what? She can be single. Like she just find another guy at church or something. I don't know. Chat, y'all be out here going on sad. Maurice ain't going on sad. That's y'all problem, man. Maurice would have still at 10 toes on the whole situation. Maurice ain't going on sad for nobody, bro. That's y'all problem.